All right, so I already press record. Okay. So we already went over what we're gonna talk about. Right. And we just gonna go into it. Just gonna go into it. <laughs> the behind the scenes. Oh yeah. Cut. So like, <laughs> <okay>, no. <laughs> Action. back with another video it's coming to check in because I've been here at the prime yard since last Friday and I just so happened to run into do it all trucker and I'll post this video up in the I'll post it on the screen here and I'll also post it in the description below okay but uh, as you guys knew or know from my last video I actually am in the middle of turning in my Freightliner uh, my 2020 Freightliner Cascadia um, I was lucky enough to select uh, one of the prime Volvo VNL 860s that we have up here. Um, I'm currently in the middle of switching trucks and if I was not able to go come across that option, I was actually strongly considering um, go ahead and ordering a lease purchase Freightliner. And I've been through the website and I looked at some of the options, but I really wanted to get a chance to actually sit down and speak with someone that, you know, that's actually done it and come to find out. Do it all here. He's already done it. Yep, I'm going through that process. Um, I mean, it's simple. I mean, pretty much just go to the website that they provide you to go to, and you actually got different selections. You can either order a regular lease or an ace lease, which that's what I'm doing. Okay. And so with the ace, so you're doing the ace lease. Yes. So the ace lease, at least for the people that are not at Prime. The Ace Lease is basically ordering a truck, you're going to have a two number truck, right? Yes, it's going to start with a two and the mm -hmm. second number is the year of the truck. So it'll be a two, two one? Two one or a two two. 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 Yeah. Okay, so I know with that, for Ace Lease, for the people who don't know, it's when you order a truck and you pay the lease payments just like a regular lease. Yeah. But the only difference is at the end of his lease, Prime has a balloon payment of one dollar and he will own that truck. Is it one dollar or is it a hundred dollars? A hundred dollars. So a hundred dollars. It's a balloon payment of a hundred dollars. <laughs> yes. And he will own that truck at the at the end of his lease. Right. And which is ten times better, I mean, because the truck that we are driving right now, technically we can buy that truck, but you'll have to put uh, another additional let's say you've been in the truck for three years. So Prime does every year you lease a truck they take a thousand dollars off. So I've been with Prime for a year, 18 months now. So my down payment was 13,000 instead of 14. Mm -hmm. And if I would have waited until this lease was over with, then I would be paying um, about 10,000 instead of 13,000 because I'd be here for years by the time the lease was over. Mm -hmm. So- You been with Prime 18 months? Yes. When did you start? July. What? No. Wait. Um, I was about to say, wait a minute. Hold up. Why? <laughs> no, I, I came in on uh, March 29th was my hire date. Okay, so you started literally a month after I did. Right. Because my hire date was February 14th oh, of 2019. Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. That's why I, well, I can't forget my anniversary now. So. <laughs> That's my work anniversary. Yeah, I hear that. So, I mean, but yeah, I mean, the process is pretty simple. You go on a website, which We'll probably have it on the description and show you guys through the mobile app. It's not hard. You go to the website, um, which is going to be in the link to below if you're driving for Prime. However, you know, they do also have pedigree um, that you can actually buy a truck for cheap, a 2018 or 2000, up to a 2019 or a 20. I'm not exactly sure. But if you go to their website, you can actually purchase a truck. It's, through Prime, but it's also a different company called Pedigree. Yeah. And, but it's simple. I mean, the process wasn't hard. Um, after you submit your order, um, Miss Jennifer in the Twig office mm -hmm. slash lease order, she will uh, look over your list and double check and then she'll also send you a confirmation and you have to go back and go through everything again and make sure you confirm if that's what you really want. Because like all the different options that you selected. Different options. And my options, my extras, which I'm not gonna tell you guys, you have to wait for that <laughs> video, cause it's gonna be nice. But my extras came up to like 6,300 on top of the 13,000 I had to put down. Okay, so you paid both of those amounts 
at once? No. Um, you put a thousand dollars down, mm -hmm. and when the truck come in, you give them the rest of the twelve thousand. Okay. But instead of me trying to come up with all that money at once, every month I give them two to uh, four thousand if I can afford it at that time. That's smart. Yeah. So That's I just smart. set my e fund up to where you know each week I take a certain amount out of my account. And out of my check and have it go to my e fund. Okay. Yeah. And so that way they can just go ahead and just take it out of the e fund and wash hands after that. So, mm -hmm. but the extras is actually 10 weeks. So no matter what you get within 10 weeks, they have to uh, divide it within 10 weeks. And that's how much they charge you a week until all so the extras are something. paid. That's still not bad either. I thought yeah. everything was up front. Nah, it's not. I mean, I, and to be honest, I even paid three thousand of that up front, so it bought my costs down to about two hundred a week. Oh wow! Yeah, that's super smart. Yeah, I mean, um, my girl, she actually took her time and walked me through the steps, helped me. Honestly, I've been driving for seven years, and now I can actually say I'm, I feel good that I'm actually purchasing my own truck, and it's gonna be mine after three years. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be good. And as y'all know, like I I've wanted a Volvo for since I became a CDO holder. So for this opportunity to come up right when I was about to order, you know, a brand new Freightliner, right. now I get to actually get to sit down and actually drive the Volvo for the end of you know, for the end, until the end of that lease. And then I can really decide probably about six to eight months before that lease ends. I can really decide whether I'm still going to order a Freightliner or if I, you know, if I really enjoy the Volvo, then I, you know, well, obviously I can't order through Prime, but I can go to Volvo and actually sit down and figure out a way to order a Volvo that I can bring to Prime, but I will own it instead of Prime owning it. So it kind of worked out uh, actually for both of us now. Right. And you're actually in class for... Yes. <laughs> That's crazy, like six months ago, I was training in flatbed division, had four trifectas, and I decided to switch over to reefer. So now I'm actually taking my first student out with Prime, hopefully sometime tomorrow or Friday. Reefer's better anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a flatbed I mean, hater for life, so. <laughs> I mean, I think I miss flatbed on the weekend part of it, man, get the, take a 34, get to get a hotel, kick back and relax, you know, and on top of that, your dispatch is not really bothering you, saying check your unit, check your reefer, check, and then every, the one thing I dislike about reefer, when your truck, your truck is going to the shop, and you get all, all of those messages. alerts, yep, you get every single alert, so, every shop. single alert, and it's like, Oh, they're doing a pre-trip on your trailer. I'm like, why do I need to know that? Mm -hmm. I'm like... Because you're attached to it. <laughs> <laughs> if you're on the low, man, yeah, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. like, well, I love my dry loads. When I go pick up a load and it say dry load, <sighs> then I hold it. I, I don't care if it's 46,000 pounds. I'm taking that. <laughs> <laughs> Those dry loads or something else. Hey, but you know what? Even being a reefer, or I guess you would know from being flatbed, yeah. Like once you're a reefer driver, and I'm sure a lot of other reefer drivers have this issue as well. I know when I have a dry load and the temperature is just nice enough for me not to run my APU, I actually can't sleep. Like I have to have some type of engine running, or like my home, home time sucks for me because I have to have an engine running in the background. Yeah, it's crazy you say that. I have to download an app that would actually make noise mm -hmm. or just listening. I even try to make my APU stay on just so I can go to sleep. Or, you know, it's other ways. Or I'll park next to a reefer driver. I'll do that too. <laughs> <laughs> I roll my window down as I'm the parking lot. Like, all right, you yep. have your reefer on. Yeah. <laughs> What's your temperature? Negative 10? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely next to you. you. <laughs> <laughs> That's they, so funny. They got these drive box. They be running. Get away. Get away. Don't come next to me. I'm like, mm. shit, I'm coming. I'm coming. Like, I'm I need that. right next. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like you up until like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning knowing you got to get on the road at 5, 6 in the yep. morning. But Got to hear that engine. So how long you been driving for Prime? I've been with Prime since, uh, so I guess I came to Prime initially 
January 2019. I took a Greyhound January 24th. I hopped on a Greyhound from Atlanta, Georgia, and actually didn't get here until the night of January 25th. Okay. So it was a 24-hour bus ride. Mm, 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 mm. Then a week sitting in class to make sure I got well. Back then, as you know, mm -hmm. the requirements to come to Prime were different, so right. we actually got our permits here. Right. And then we got a CDL here, so had that week trying to get our permits, and then the week after that we got our PST trainers. Yeah. And then two to three weeks with them, like a CDL instructor. But my actual, um, actual day that I got my CDL was yeah. off with my TNT trainer was February 14th. Okay, okay. So, coming coming up on two years, not quite two years, but I'm almost there. Yeah, I mean, same here, I can't wait. You get a ring, and I want that ring. A lot of people, they say, oh, you get more options if you own your own truck, mm -hmm. but I don't want that headache, you know? And that's the God honest truth, I mean, I want my own truck, but I don't want my own authority, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, I'd rather, I, if, I love Prime and everything, but you know, if Prime doesn't work out, I can be able to say, hey, you know what? I can take my truck wherever I want to. Yeah, once it's paid off, or even even if it isn't paid off, you know, with that option, you can actually take your truck and bring it to another company. Bring it to, yeah, but you that. gotta make sure that that truck payment is able to be paid, and if the company agree to make that payment, then Prime will release that truck. Yeah. But until then, but I don't think I'm going anywhere because, like I said in my I videos, Prime. yeah, Prime, man, look, we in the old Aces right now, man. Mm -hmm. And we actually stay in these rooms for free because we taking the um, training, training class and he- I had to take Ace, Ace 2. 2 class and what's so good about that is, instead of you standing in your truck, they say, hey, you know what, take a night off, get a hotel, you know, go get you a nice, um, duck a la orange. steak dinner. <laughs> a steak dinner or something like that. You know, it's, it's really nice. I mean, Rob Lou has really thought of everything and not just him, his team. Yeah. You know, because it's not just him. You know, he got great guys behind him, mm -hmm. ladies behind him that's there for him and look out and make sure that they all do their job. So I'm like, hey. And then he get on the basketball court with us. In so schools, everybody. everybody. <laughs> oh my gosh. And don't th don't think that they take it easy on him. No, no. indeed. They, they, he he play. He he a ball. You know, it's not like they running it to him mm -hmm. or anything. But you know, he actually get on the court. But he'll, he'll get a ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah he'll he play some good defense, bro. Yeah. And then he hold a conversation with you. That's yeah, well, and the, the whole time. Yeah. yeah. Him and Steve Watt. Cause if I'm saying this last night right, I'm sorry, but. That's that's uh, Rob Lowe, right hand man right there. Oh yeah, okay. Know? And they always if they if you see one, you gonna see the that's other. Right. That's how I see it, you know. I do miss the prime safety meetings. Though. Oh man, I miss the picnic. Uh, yeah. Oh man. You know. Man, the we're, we're gonna <laughs> we're, we're gonna have to talk about that. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this up because I see we already at 14 minutes. Like I said, I'm gonna post this channel up somewhere on the screen somewhere. And he will also be in the description below. But we will catch y'all on the next one. Till, till next time, peace.